Anything can happen if you let it. Sometimes things are difficult, but you can bet it doesn't have to be so. Changes can be made. You can move a mountain if you use a larger spade. Anything can happen. It's a marvel. You can be a butterfly or just say love or stretch your mind beyond fantastic dreams are made of strong elastic. Take some salt. How long have you been coming to the Lundstrom Center? I was born at Lundstrom Center. <laughs> I am a triple threat. I am a choreographer. I am confident. I am a singer. I am a dancer. I am star. The thing I've learned most about coming to Lunchroom Center is that to know when it's my time to shine. Mostly sportsmanship and a team effort. When I first came here, I didn't think I was going to be so strict. <laughs> I just thought I could just go crazy and dance whenever I wanted, but I used to hate ballet. <laughs> I love it now, but I just dislike all oh, the first position, fifth position, but in. Discipline is highly important because without it, everything would be chaos. Twelve years ago, my sisters and I inherited the Lundstrom Center in a will. Um, Dorothy Lundstrom had a legacy with her two sisters, Lorraine and Marion. It proved to be a dynamic uh, relationship with the North Side children and families. So um, we took it very seriously. Uh, when she died and left it to us in her will. When we first stepped in and, and opened at DuPont Avenue, I think we had about 50 to 100 kids that first year. We are now serving over 500 students annually. It's, it's amazing growth. It's been a long journey along the way with many stopping points, but uh, it, the growth has been wonderful. We like to think of what we do as giving them a really enriched environment to play creatively, to dance, to sing, to have acting class and the guidance of wonderful teachers who can bring out the gifts that each student has. And today, what happens here that is so special is that professionals, people who have been there and done it, offer their expertise and their experience to a lot of young people and they're so blessed. The greatest things about bringing our guest artists here, whether it's uh, Stephanie Zimblist or Gay Marshall or uh, Milton Craig Neely, the great Broadway people that have come in to work with our kids, is our kids always take a jump in technique and a jump in their performance level afterward because they they feel that New York energy. They feel that what they've been taught here, this is the time, this is the moment, and they're ready. And they step out there and they grow. And our wonderful opportunity in the summertime when they put on their full musicals, they're there. How did it go when you're on Broadway? Um, how did it go when you're on tour? What are some tips you can give me? Because one day I want to be there too. So being able to have that access is just amazing. My favorite part about, about Lundstrom is everybody coming together as a family and dancing together and supporting each other through every step of the way. It's really fun classes. I've definitely became more outgoing. It's really cool. So you think you can dance, 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 dance? Uh, went to audition for that May, May 2nd. Me and one other friend made it to the second round. Do you think you ever would have done something like that without the training at Lundstrom? No. <laughs> right. I can learn any tap combination. You can make anything into a work of art. <laughs> Having them try day after day to conquer a step and move forward in their technique. You'll see that light bulb turn on and you get that moment of complete excitement behind their eyes. And they may have just begun to conquer a pirouette or even a plie. You see that they finally got it, like something was there that they didn't have before. That's really why I'm here. My favorite uh, thing about the Lunch from Center is the enthusiasm of the sisters and the rest of the staff. And everybody is so dedicated and it rubs off on the children and you can just see how, how much they appreciate it and how much they grow. And when you begin to see that kid light up, that was like, man, I don't know, especially the boys. It's really cute with the boys. It's like, ballet, modern, I don't do that, you know? And then you'll see them 
they'll get involved in it, and now they want to learn more. They're like, how do, what is first position? What is second position? My name is Amy Speck, and my son Wyatt has been here for three years. He started Lundstrom because of the Dance Mania class for kids with special needs, and it has been amazing for him. He has become this fantastic hip-hop dancer. He performs for his class, he performs for anyone who'll ask, and we have dance party every day at our house. Something you may not know, the Lundstrom Center receives a lot of calls for casting. And I got referred and I got to audition for the History Theater and I got the lead part as Jessa, the one who got lost in Washington, D.C. I will be successful. I will be a star. I will be on Broadway. I will follow my dreams and be a professional singer. I will be known. Yes. The North Side community is a strong part of our identity. We collaborate with the Visitation Monastery, with the Northside Achievement Zone, with the Hennepin Theater Trust, with the Minnesota Symphonia, with the Ordway and the Guthrie, and uh, many other uh, partners in North Minneapolis. In the past, the organization has received some anonymous gifts, and during the last three years, it has effectively utilized those monies to create a solid infrastructure in handling a greater number of uh, students and uh, even handling more in the future. A lot of nonprofits have gone out of business as a lot of for-profits have gone out of business. Exceedingly grateful for how people have stepped up uh, for children is to see children um, get a, a wonderful sense of who they are. So in order to do that we really need the funds to get there. We really, in a perfect world, we would have an endowment at a level that would really help these kids grow and develop as artists and people and wonderful little human beings that they are. What I see for the future and what I think the girls see, we continue our growth, continue our partnerships with other North Side organizations, service the whole community, not just the North Side, and eventually have a theater season of light and excitement and hopefully creating tomorrow's Broadway writers, singers, dancers, composers, and um, it's a real blessing and thank you for your help. Because I know when I was growing up, we didn't have the kind of training that's offered here today. So I encourage anyone who has a talent and a desire to come here to the Lundstrom Center for the Performing Arts and learn everything there is to learn about being prepared beyond talent. You know, there is that stage of life that they will have to enter at one point. Confidence and the knowledge that they are someone special. And no matter what stage they choose in life, they're going to bring that possibility and confidence with them. And I think I'm proudest of that. I would love to keep doing this in the future. I mean, who knows, but we can always dream, and that's what the Lundstrom Center is here for. that stand side by side too few in number and too proud to hide and say to the others who did not follow through you're still our brothers and we will fight for you Stay.